What's going on guys? Super quick and to the point video here. Today is the bow mod. It's from our bow kit. We made a bow kit for this, but we're gonna talk real quick, low to high, how you could replace the bow if you're looking to do that for your boat. Things that I've seen from boat manufacturers and from other people and what actually work for this mod. Ultimately to what we have chosen to make into a kit. So let's talk about some things that I have seen, how people talk, tackle the V mod and the bow plate or even, even a flat bottom front mod for, or a tapered Coast Guard hull for, or a Mod V John boat. People have used wood and pieces of angle. So if aluminum sheeting, which we do know is pretty expensive, you can use angle and riveted or bolted to the gunnels, right so, and then you would just lay the wood piece and you would bolt the wood piece down. Possibly countersink screws, countersink bolts, countersink stainless hardware into the wood. And that could be your major basis for the, for the preliminary part. That would hold for a while. You'd eventually have to replace that because wood is organic and it does its thing and eventually cracks and pops and breaks apart. But you would get a, a fair good use out of it. If you're looking for instant results, it's something you can do. Angle and a piece of wood cut to the taper that fits right inside the gunnels all the way to the V. Next thing you could do is get a thin piece of aluminum that you could find at your hardware store or at a metal shop. The thin, I know aluminum's off the chain expensive right now. I don't know if the prices are ever gonna drop but the thinner pieces are still affordable to some speak. And then a lot of times if you go to metal shops, a lot of times they, they cut pieces of aluminum and they're unusable because people only wanted this much. And so now they have scrap pieces that they can't really sell. So they put them in a scrap pile, go look for the scrap pile. That's the easiest way to find like a small thin sheet of it. Now obviously the thicker the better. The thicker you go, the less you'll have to do to it. But say you found the 063, which is like a 1 16th inch sheet of aluminum. You laid it across the top. Later on, you go underneath that with like a 3 4 inch piece of plywood and then just with stainless screws you would countersink down and you would just drill and hold that piece that that underneath wood piece would give you quite a bit of structure a 3 4 inch you could even bulk it up to inch and a half if you want to stack it if you have a really robust trolling motor you're worried about tweaking out everything but people have done that and if you rip open old trackers old lows any old economy boat it's done that way it's even done in some of the, the higher end boats that i really wouldn't think they would do something like that because i think they think nobody's going to rip these boats apart but they do. Even that uh, really nice Illumicraft that was here out of my garage, you know, from Tyler, he, that boat had a, a wooden front piece. Like there was no top aluminum, it was wood on angle, carpeted. So carpeted wood on angle, it actually looked pretty good. What can I say, it looked all right. Wouldn't do it that way. But I, th I think I think the, the aluminum overlap with a wood under bracing is fine, or just a very nice, thick, robust one eighth inch sheet of aluminum with aluminum tubing or angle, but tubing would work much better, tubing underneath and we brace it in strategically placed, which is what we're gonna be showing you today for this build, but that's how we would handle it low to high. Bow thingy, and it had going on. I actually don't even know how that was. There's no screws. That must have been over wood. I didn't take this off. My buddy Richard, I, I sold him this boat and he gutted it and then gave up and sold it back to me. So I don't exactly know how this, but I really don't want to use this. But this is very useful because of the. And one very nice thick. This will be going like this. We're gonna cut this off though first. If I didn't have a bandsaw, I don't know what I would do with my life.
this piece doesn't actually fit it. So that's a problem, but it's not something that's unavoidable. Well, the middle piece in here, that what, that's what these tubes are for. So you're gonna wanna get one of these tubes. You're gonna put it here. I probably would weigh it all the way out here. That way you can keep the longest piece for like something else. I do mean slight, very slight taper. In that point, it'll be the tallest end. It is right there. And then this will actually, remember, this is going to have to bend in. We're going to have to make it go that way. So it's going to taper. It's going to be right there. So... Uh, So it's actually more like this because I oh, forget tapers. So scrap that one line. There, there they get the taper. It's very awkward. I'm gonna cut this with a bandsaw to make it less awkward. But yeah, it's a little awkward to cut. Here it is. Pretty good. So we're gonna later on, we're gonna hit it with just a regular hammer. It might be a, a rubber mallet, see if that'll do it first. And we're gonna knock this flush. You're likely gonna have a boat where the gunnels do this. So if it does that, then just leave a little bit of an overhang here. Cut it off with a little bit of overhang and then beat it, like beat it down the way with a rubber mallet until it bends to the contour of the gunnel. And I've done that with my boat. This one, they're completely straight because we made the gunnels, but normally that's what you would have to do because they almost always taper. The little aluminum slanted gunnels always, almost always go that way. So, but in this scenario, we have a perfect scenario where we have it completely flush, which has never happened before. But you know, you do things for long enough and stuff happens. Here we, uh, this is underneath. We gave it a little bit of gap. That is really for when we cut the rubber matting. The rubber matting is gonna get cut and we will do that very much last. Now, how we would do this is we gave you enough under bracing somewhere over there that it's quite a bit of under bracing. So you could run slats, one, two, three. Now, if you didn't wanna do this, a more budget way to do this would be uh, a thinner piece of aluminum like 063, which is still much very manageable. You can find that in most places, including Home Depot and definitely hard aluminum, aluminum shop. Metal shops will have these. Then you can get a piece of three fourth inch, inch thick plywood and just put it underneath. And so if you rip off any old tracker or any old economy boat, they'll have thin pieces of aluminum, not thick not like this, thin pieces of aluminum with three fourth inch plywood underneath and they have screws down. So that and it's, I don't know what kind of plywood it is. Hopefully it's, hopefully it's, but generally it's treated plywood so the aluminum panel's all done anyways. Um, but that's how they do it. So if you replicated that with a, a better suited piece of three fourth inch, then that in and of itself would be very sturdy. Now I don't know how long that would last long term, but it would essentially, essentially would do the same thing as this. But we're gonna, we gave you these, these tubes. So for one, you can have a flush mount down where we make the frame because next we're gonna be running the side rails. We have quite a bit of aluminum left over from just the subfloor itself, which is very nice. We have to use some more of it, a little bit more of it to make, you know, brackets all the way down. But eventually we're gonna use those to run the side rails and then we can start tying in the frame and then this boat will go by very quickly. You will be astonished. Analytics show that only 16% of you are actually subscribed. But if you subscribe and like and comment and share on these videos, my channel will grow exponentially. It helps more than you'll ever know. These projects are also 100% fan funded with no sponsors. To help us keep it that way, throw something in the tip jar. Check us out on Patreon or becoming a YouTube channel member. We really appreciate it. Also check out our website, tbnation.net. It has everything from tutorials to every boat part that we have ever used to build pretty much anything. If DIY boat building and fishing is your thing, check us out here. We have the perfect layout. Also check us out on our Facebook platform, the biggest, largest collaboration of DIY creators and boat builders to ever be anywhere on a platform like this. Lots of information, lots of interaction, 
Also on Instagram, we are pretty big. We have a lot of content floating through there of Instagrams and things instead of Facebook. Also, for every project we have on this channel, there is a series for it, a playlist. So to view that playlist, just click on right here, watch this, and it will take you to the playlist for this entire boat for any past, present, and future videos coming out for it. Also to get perks and content never released to the YouTube public exclusively for VIPs, check us out on Patreon or becoming a YouTube channel member. Thank you.